good afternoon guys hey uh, just excited i just bought this uh akai mbk mini 2 professional is a special editions uh, black color normally what we see in the youtube is a uh, red and white color which is nice and this is something special i bought it i have no idea how to use this uh, akai mpk but i think today i'm going to try to figure it out how you're going to use it so let's start so how we're going to do this and let's see you have this uh, bank a bank b this is cc buttons this is control change i guess this is a control change button and this is a program change button and this is a program select and you have the refrigerator octave okay okay and there is no repeat full level the keys okay let's see i think that's the software that i figured out here before you start to use this uh, the software uh, you have to set it up the key inside the uh, mpk editor what i notice here you can see notes start from c3 is basically you can change it to other buttons let's say i don't want c3 then basically you can manually you can change it to each button basically you can change one by one but this is let's see you can edit okay you have auto populate buttons I want to apply to C1 to okay let's change to pad 1 C1 okay. and this is a different pattern you can set on the bank B so yeah, this is start from C1 so this is C2, so that's fine. Okay. Now you have a transpose button here. Basically this is to keep move the notes. I'm not sure, let's try five. Yeah. You see this this has changed to F3. So I just going to try to set it to C0 again. Okay. And let's start. And you can see this is a key MIDI, oh, sorry, pad MIDI channel one and key. Key bad control MIDI channel. So you have one and we have two. Let's try to change it to this two. Okay, I read the uh, manual in the uh, archive. Uh, when I bought this, the archive, and then the uh, there is a manual inside the uh, box. So I read it. So basically, what you have to do, you just send the program. So you just change it to MPK two. 
pg input the onto the same apply okay done and send to ram okay this is uh, based on the manual okay they mentioned that you shouldn't open the the software and then the um, the editor at the same time otherwise you're going to crash okay either you can save the program if you want but in this case i'm not going to save okay i'm going to close here uh, i've tried the in the past using this uh, mpc essential but that's that's not good i don't like the interface too complicated and then it's not stable so i'm not going to use the mpc essential so i have downloaded the uh, apple studio trial versions so still a trial versions so let's see what you have to do you go to tools Okay, go to options, MIDI settings, and then the input is MPK and output is uh, MPK. Control type generate controller. Okay, make sure all those things you do it. Okay, so now we on. Yeah, this is very cool software. So what you can do also you can automate it, just press the uh, refrigerator so it will be continuously displayed this music. And then at the same time what you can do you can okay go here press shift and then press this. So by doing that what you're gonna do is so you can the top keypad i mean the pad control you're going to play the another music to so the bottom one you're going to play another music okay if you go to off this button i like this Next one, I think this is a very. You can tune this uh, the music by link to control. There's a two options you can do. Either you can use a knob, or you can use the uh, CC buttons. So in this case, I'm going to use CC buttons. Okay. What are you going to do? If I press the CC. Okay, let's link more buttons. Link to controller. I'm going to press CC. Okay, let's try this. See. See, see, this control this button. See? Okay, let's try to link one more DK. Right click. Okay, so now we already linked three buttons. I think it's good enough. Okay, so when you unclick the CC button, So, what we're going to do is, okay, try to press again, press shift, and click this button, okay, so that is a different music,
try to price it. Okay. So I'm going to change the tune now. Just press CC button. And then I can unclick the CC button. Go back to CC button. Okay, I'm going to change it here. Unclick CC button. Okay. Another thing also you can do Okay, you can, you can go here You can go in the link to Controller, basically this is a volume Okay, I'm just going to press this So basically this will cut off the music Cut off. You see the button change. Excellent. This, I like the CC buttons. Okay. And then this is connected and then press again. Try the link. Shift. Okay, try again.